Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you how to share podcasts with your students using Google Sites. So here I have a podcast. I want my students to listen to it. And I have some assessment questions in Google Forms. And I want students to access these two side by side easily together. And I'm telling you right now, Google Sites is how we do this. We don't need to know any coding or anything like that. So we look for a share or an embed button. So I have this one off NPR. I click that embed and I make sure to copy it. I bring that over to my Google site and I just double click and there's the embed uh, icon. It's yellow. I click that. I go to embed code. I hit paste and sure there's code going. I don't know what, what all that is. I just need to copy and paste, right? Very easy. So I click next. I see that the preview looks good. We'll test that out in a second, but we click next. And I can even tighten that just so that that little white space goes away. And now I want the Google Form side by side. So let's go to Google Forms. And we have that under our insert menu right here. We have Forms. We click on Forms. This is really nice because it brings up the forms you were most recently working on. So if you're creating an assignment for your kids in Google Sites, it probably has this form that you just created for your podcast. So you click Insert. And it will want to go below, but I suggest dragging it like so, put it side by side. I would suggest tightening it up a little bit. If there's nothing else on this page, maybe you don't tighten it up. Maybe you just keep it all there. Um, don't tighten it up too much. Maybe just a little bit more and maybe a little less. Anyway, we then go to preview and look at this. I have the podcast and the questions side by side and kids just get this and they don't have to worry about going back and forth or putting them side by side themselves. If I hit play, British forces. I won't do any longer than that, but you heard that, right? It plays. Now, what about if I'm go go using Apple Podcasts? So let me show you that real quick. So if you're an Apple Podcast, here's a podcast. Now, one, don't share this page because this page has every single episode and students might have to click show more episodes. We don't want that. Go to the episode you want and then look for this button right here. I'll zoom in on it. That icon right there, that's what we want. Click on, let me just zoom out. Click on that, get that embed code again. Again, you don't know, and it, it copies. You don't know what's going on there. You don't need to know. And then we'll just double click. We'll bring up that embed icon. We don't do URL. We do embed code. We paste it. Hit next. Preview's looking good, but we'll test it in a second. Click insert. And again, you can tighten up because you don't need this white space and go to the preview icon. And we'll scroll down to it. It's right there. We hit play. You know, we're fine. And it's there. And that's that. So please, if you're having your students listen to podcasts and answer questions in Google Forms, I highly recommend Google Sites. Use Google Sites share the link with your students, and then look at the responses in Google Forms. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.